what's going on? I just got back from doing some deep dropping with some friends, catching these crazy looking creatures. These are called black belly rosefish, and they're really beautiful, and supposedly they're really good. I've never tried them before, so stay tuned towards the end of the video because we're going to cook these guys up. Yeah, feel him, he's cold. All right guys, so we are dropping down for our third time. First drop, we got one, so we knew we were in a good area. And then the second drop, we Victor caught two, so that's pretty cool. And this time you're gonna catch five. Yeah, right? How many hooks do we have? Five six. or six. Five yeah, or six? Five or six. You can do it, I cut them up to five. We're using an electric reel, which you can use an, a hand crank reel. And with the current and with the drift, it ends up being about 1,200 feet of line out. So if you want to crank 1,200 feet of line up, be my yeah. guest. <laughs> but this is much easier. It gets the job done. Okay. All right, so we just hit bottom. Perfect. Now we just got to wait for a bite. They were biting better before. Here's just a little bite. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Sharks that, right? oh yeah, bro. Yeah? I almost got eaten when I was my cousin in 35 feet right? of water. Yeah, yeah you're getting bite. bit. Yeah, I get to be a big time. Sometimes you need a little patience. Yeah, that's there. Yeah? Should yeah, bring it, it up, bring it up. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But I went to the thermal pine. It wasn't for mine. I don't really think we got bit a lot. Look at how many, how much bait is left. Yeah, they're not eating, they're not biting well either. Look at these, don't be caught it right. Yeah. I'm telling you, I think, ah, he's gonna float. Whoa. Whoa. Are you good? Get the cup. Uh. <laughs> I told you, I think we lost a couple. Oh right no, are they uh, supposed to float? No, they go back down. Oh, they, they do? Really? Yeah, they don't float. That's crazy, normally we catch them float. Yeah, no, these ones, they they wait down. Ah. It, just, it just wasn't, um, it wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> He's got a long way to swim back down to the bottom. I was about to go on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we had to grab you. But if he didn't grab me, I was like, Whoa. You were going to join him. <laughs> all right, now imagine if you were to have hand cranked all of that line up, the fish gets right to the boat and then drops off and swims back down to the bottom. Wouldn't you be, wouldn't you be, be really pissed. sad then? <laughs> but with the electric reel, it's not as bad. <laughs> Got did you see how mean oh yeah. yeah. If he's that one, did you see how mean they were? Yeah. So what you think it's a better fish or more? They were biting good, so and the lot is the rod is preloaded, so unless it's more than one. It's coming up. Uh, I want credits for this fish. Yeah, I'm well, just saying. All you, all you. This is all me. <laughs> These fish like that. I mean, what up. can I say? <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. Ball, yeah, and we had one more. I'm telling you, we had some, we had a lot of nice ones. I'll uh, take that. That sucks. There you go. Yeah. Ah, uh, what can be a gold? Looks uh. like dinner to me. Oh, those are nice ones. Yeah, well, I want a gold. All right, so this is the first time I've ever caught these guys. These are called black belly rosefish, also called rosies. 
I've also never ate one before, but supposedly they're very, very good. They got really white meat and they're called black belly because when you cut them open, their stomachs are actually black inside. You get these while you're deep dropping in super deep water. They're really cold when they come up because it's really cold down there. Awesome fish, look at these guys. They're like nothing I've ever caught before. Super cool fish and they don't get very big. So these are like really good sized rosies. I'm super excited to try these later. What we're using for bait, we got some nice squid chunks. And lovely first mate Vic will bait him up for Captain Brooke. <laughs> we got six hooks, so six chances. And we got a light at the top of the chicken rig. When they bite again, bring the red, put the red one out, clean you up. Yeah. You were biting like you crazy. Bring it up and both of them, yeah. Here we come. How many do you think? One or two. One or two? Yeah, I see something. There's one. I would say two. It's a monster. There's two. Two. There we go. Yeah, these are all nice ones here. Alright boys. Boys, Dude, these hey are old. Girls. These are old quality fish. Rosies. Look at them. No jokes. These are old. Nice. Rosies. Thank you. They thank are. You. My fishing so, skills so, are getting better. This mouth is great. I have different skills. Yeah. Get the fucking skills. They're black inside. Put them in. You gotta be twenty, right? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, skipper. First dolly of the day. So we just switched spots. We're a little bit shallower now. We're in like 730 feet where before we were in like 930. And hopefully we get some golden tilefish here. I've never caught a golden tilefish before. I've caught blue line tilefish, but never a golden one. So I'm super excited. All right guys, so we are back home. We ended up catching 10 of these rosies and we didn't have any luck with the golden tilefish, which is still on my list of fish to catch. So hopefully I catch that one soon. But now I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet one of these up. These guys are actually pretty spiny. They got some spines on their head right here. They got this top dorsal fin that's spiny. And this gill plate has these little spines on them. Their whole gill plate has it. Their teeth are super sharp. They just, and their scales are really rough. It's not like, I don't know, like a snapper. They got some rough spines. I mean, some rough scales. Pretty cool fish. Now, Guglielmo said you can flay them just like a yellowtail, so that's what I'm gonna do. Make a head cut. And then just go down their backbone and one go. And there is that black belly that they're known for. We're gonna cut that off. Same thing on this other side. Beautiful. They got those spines on the dorsal have kind of like come up a little bit and so your knife kind of gets stuck on them a little bit. So that's why I was getting kind of stuck because these dorsal spines are so big. But there's like bone right there that kind of protrudes. So that's why that was happening. But there's their black belly in there. Crazy. Never seen a fish with a black belly. How about you, Vic? Never. Like I always say, pop their eyes before you throw them in. These guys got some big eyes, so they would definitely float. Today, there are a ton of catfish down there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but 
They are going to love this guy. Never ate these before, never seen them eat before, and it is super, super white. This is bones from the rib cage and their belly, so I'm gonna cut that out first before I skin it. They have thick skin, like a snapper, so they're easy to skin. Super beautiful meat. I am really excited to try these, and Victor and I are both doing a recipe tonight, so we're gonna finish filleting them, then I will meet you back in the kitchen. One more thing, I forgot to cut out the bones. They do have a line of pin bones here, which is right here. So I'm just going to cut out that little section of their pin bones and now we're ready to go into the kitchen hey guys welcome back to the kitchen so tonight i'm making an appetizer of pan seared black belly rosefish bruschetta and victor's making the main dish which is pan fried rosy with a linguine clam sauce victor has made this bruschetta recipe with kingfish in the past and it turned out great so i decided to do it with the rosies and if you guys know me, I love fast, easy, delicious recipes, which is exactly what this is. To start my bruschetta, I diced some tomatoes, fresh garlic, and basil, which I combined in a bowl and drizzled on some olive oil. I mixed and then set this into the fridge until I was ready to use it. I bought a beautiful loaf of French bread, which I sliced into about three quarters to an inch thick pieces. Now for my fish fillets, I lightly seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, then turned them over and did the same to the other side. These fillets are so beautiful and white, they kind of remind me of hogfish fillets. I took a small frying pan, which I had on medium high heat, added two tablespoons of butter, and then added my fillets. Now these are really thin fillets, so once they turned a nice crisp, I turned them over, cooked for another couple minutes, and then removed them from the heat. I sliced the fillets so that they were easier to distribute across the French bread slices. I topped with the tomato basil garlic mix and then topped that with a nice sprinkle of feta cheese. And then to finish it off, a nice olive oil drizzle. And voila, nice, easy, and delicious. Victor's main course turned out absolutely amazing with a beautiful linguine with tomato clam sauce and even some fresh clams. Honestly, one of my favorite dishes he's made, so I will have his video linked in the description so you guys can check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.